Hey everyone, we're playing FFT again. Finally, getting it back in the groove like I am with Grim Dawn. Um, yeah, I was sick all last week for anyone that didn't know. I need to move something. <laughs> that was against my leg and very annoying. So, um, anyways. I was sick for an entire week, for anyone that didn't know, and I'm better now. But during that week, I could not record a single thing. No joke. Um, my, my throat was sore for like two days, and then it was sore with a yak and cough for two more days, and then for two days after that, my, my nose was clogged, and I was sneezing like crazy, and um, I became very impressed with how much mucus the human body can produce. So anyways, we're, uh, we're back in the FFT, FFT thing, and I'm gonna be doing at least Balius Swale and the Execution Grounds that are pop up right there. And we're at the port city of Vorgilus. I'm just gonna take a look. I don't remember exactly what's in here now. So yeah, um, Green Berets are great. In fact, I'm going to put him on a bunch of people. Like, even though it's a health loss for Ramza, more speed is huge. And putting it on characters I'm using that have cloth helmets um, is super, super helpful. Let's see if I can't get a better accessory on me. We'll do that. And we'll do one in Cabo. I think Roms is good for now. So we also have Samurai Swords available. Yes. And this means we can actually start getting characters as Samurai. Do we, we don't have the Ninja Swords yet, though. That's fine, though, because Ninjas can equip daggers regardless. Uh, I'm going to look robes. Okay, those are finally available for purchase. And we can buy Power Gauntlets as we if we really, really wanted to, but we don't yet. Um, yeah, Mage's Cloak is one of my more favorite items in the game. Just because it's it's got, you know, an okay evasion and then plus one the magic on top of it. It's pretty fun. I mean, there are magic gauntlets, which are technically better later on. But those actually, to me, rival it. Wizard ro Wizard's Robes are actually some of my favorite gear as well. Um... <clears throat> So anyways, yeah, we can we can pick up Samurai soon, but we are going to go save, first of all, while I talk more. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to go and do Barry a Swell. I just want to get my purchases saved away. Yeah, so sick for a week, couldn't record anything. My queue is, or I should say was, almost completely emptied. I believe I still... I have a Grim Dawn video. No, I have three Grim Dawn videos now ready, uploaded. And actually, I have two more just waiting to be uploaded as well. So, um. Yeah, I have my week of Grim Dawn back up. And then we're gonna do another recording session of that very soon. So I'll have like maybe two weeks again, like it was before. And then, um, I recorded some Bravely Second and Layer. And I'm gonna post that on Monday. Which probably is going to be posted before this video. But Bravely Second End Layer is pretty fun so far. <laughs> lots and lots of talking. Lots and lots of scenes like this. But I have to actually read the dialogue. Unlike now where I can just... Where I can just uh, go past it. And I've always interpreted that scene as him just like punching... We gotta save again because I don't want to watch that again. Um, in case we fantastically screw up coming up here. Um... So yeah, I, <laughs> I've always interpreted that scene as, as the one guy just punches the other guy in the chest to kill him, because of the impact sound. Okay, so Barius Swale, we have to divide the party up again, and I think we do three and two, so we're going to do this with Kavo over here. And I'm going to be, I, I believe this is like a river right here, so I don't actually want to have, um, 
I don't actually want to put anyone here because I think it puts them across the riverbank, if I recall correctly. So yeah, commence battle. So bravely second end layer. I've only got the wizard unlocked as well. The freelancer and the wizard. So we're very early game on that. And um, yeah, I have a couple extra videos aside from the first hour of video I, I record and I might post them. We'll see. Agrius. This is where we get Agrius on our team. She's a guest in this fight. She helps us kick these uh, these knights' asses. And then she'll join us. Yeah, see, if you look where my Geomancer and my Knight are down there, they would have been across that river. I put them on those two, anyone on those two spots. So we have to protect Agrius here. And it's like, he doesn't need our protecting. So yeah, if you look now, that tiny bit of speed gives these characters a bonus. Um, we are, however, not going to rush the enemy. Um, I'm going to pass the turn on all three of these, though. So, um, yeah. My character might be the only one that's doing the action. What's the Geomancy for water? Torrent. I actually have to look this up because I don't remember what it does. I so rarely do it on water. Toad. Okay. We will absolutely We'll absolutely attempt to turn this guy into a toad. With our fantastic earth powers. Well water powers. Dang. It's a 25% chance, I think. 20% maybe. It's it's a lower end percent chance for that to happen. That archer can be a pain sometimes. I'll be a toad. Ah. Yeah, I forgot to put Nature's Wrath on him. So that means if any physical attacks come in, he will counter them with a Geomancy. So whatever panel he's standing on, he'll counter with that in that particular Geomancy. Actually, it might just be HP damage. So he might actually counter whatever this wizard does with it as well. Oh, good. He's an idiot. Yeah, the unfortunate thing about this side of the f of this particular battlefield is this tree right here. Because it blocks off, this is basically three wide. So it's like you can either go through the water, which can slow you down, even though my character did a little jump over here, um, or you have to walk over here, and then you kind of are like in this bottleneck, which can be an advantage sometimes. But yeah, it's just kind of an annoying... Excuse me, an annoying uh, thing to deal with sometimes. Okay, we can start laying into the rest of the enemies fairly easily here. Is this Rickman? That's Tomas. That's Thomas, not Tomas James. Um. You know what? Let's just. Am I gonna get anyone else? Can I get anyone else in here? He's not gonna be moving. No. You know what? We'll just do that because it will technically protect Agrius. So I am gonna actually stay in the water. I know that sounds weird.
I mean, my character is a competent physical attacker, but the chance to turn people into toads for free is a little too just tempting. That knight was an idiot. He deserved that 76 damage for moving there. See, this fight is not difficult by any stretch of the imagination. You're given, wow, she could shoot far. Um, you're given basically your full team and you have Agrius with you. You don't really need much else to beat the stage. Nice! Way to go, Hatch. This is the only time it gets kind of annoying, is running up to this archer. We're still working on getting Ramza's bravery maxed out. Speaking of which, I don't have him with auto potion, which means the fight after... not Well, not the fight after this one. The fight after the next fight, basically next video, um, is gonna be an interesting thing to do without having auto potion. And by interesting, I mean a huge pain in the ass. Ooh. Damn it! Why is no one turning into a frog? I just want people to turn into frogs. Stop it. I hate this PSP so much. I know, it's such a low chance that it will probably never happen. So it's like, I just am greedy and want to see it happen once. Oh, he's got a cloak on. Dang. Yeah, like, my character can deal so much more damage with sword attacks, but it's like, I'm just too... I'm just too greedy. I just want to see a, a toad. Just a toad from Geomancy just once. While we're on a fight with water. Now, I actually do like doing this this place as a random battle. Because... <laughs> because, uh... The two places your team can start are either down here, if you're coming from Wargilus, I think, or over here, if you're coming from the other direction. Now, over here is only okay, but um, if you're over here, you can actually use this random battle. You can use this, this little platform as a choke point that's super beneficial just by planting a character here or killing an enemy here and forcing everything to move around in the water, which takes them forever. So, uh, it's actually really handy to have that, to be able to create that choke point. I am going to have a whole lot of little sniffly sounds on this, because I, despite the cold being mostly gone, It is still, it's like we're in the recovery phase. So I still have a little phlegm in the throat occasionally. Crap. You know, we are actually gonna move her, move her away because I want the wizard to come out. Also, we're going to encourage Agrius to do this stuff <laughs> by not clustering around the target. That was actually out of MP. Look at that. Still, still trying for it. 
still trying for that frog, yo. It's also like, I can sit here and do this. Because everyone else can actually just take everything on anyways. These fights are not difficult, so... I mean, there are difficult fights coming up. Like the one I mentioned that... It's probably gonna be... Like, I just sighed. Because I know it's gonna be a pain to actually do it. You know, I should maybe consider healing Agrius. Yeah... I just realized he could get that off pretty quickly, can't- STOP IT! Like... Uh-oh. Oh good, we have a lot- Oh, this guy's gonna be dead before that, okay. However... Oh, so... I would really- Well, you know what? We'll- we'll do it anyways. So I, I know Ramza and Hatch could probably take her on. Or him on. Oh, Agarus is gonna kill someone. Yeah, there we go. I was worried. That's funny. And actually, that was a really smart move. Because now that... I think this might kill the archer. Oh. Clever. See, the thing is, um, that was actually a smart move. Stop doing that. I don't even know what causes that, and it's just so annoying to just move my hands a little bit and then that menu pops up. I might have to actually Google that just to deal with it. Because Agrius now can't be attacked by the archer. She's like the thing we had to protect, and she just... It's basically protected now. And you know, I would love to work on trying to get over there to get that crystal. But again, we have Agrius with us, so it's not gonna happen. Just like turning things into frogs with Geomancy is not gonna happen. Can I rush up that? I don't think I can do that. Oh, I can. Bye! Body blow! Body blow! So, I am going to call this video here. There's only one battle. It's a little longer, though. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time for the... Um, what's it called? Gul Gulgarin Execution Ground? Or whatever? Where we still... We're going to embarrass Gaffiarian again. By taking his stuff.